Hello everybody, my name is Chris Kenny, and I'm really excited to tell you about a really great book today that I think is going to benefit you uh, in all of your days and all your walks of life. Uh, the book is called How to Win Friends and Influence People, and it's written in 1937 by a man named Dale Carnegie. Uh, Dale Carnegie had a great understanding of how people worked and how to better relate to them and, and to benefit both your life and their life. Uh, one of the big points that Dale Carnegie talked about in his book was um, using names. It's so, when someone uses your name, don't you just, you perk up and you just really uh, have a, it's a sense of endearment for, for this person that's using your name. If you can become a person that's in a habit of using names and remembering names, whether that's mind tricks or, or maybe visualizing the name or, or having words that remind you of it, uh, people are going are gonna to naturally be drawn to you. Uh, they're going to they're gonna seek you out and understand that you have put in time to know their name and so then when later on you meet in life they're gonna brighten up because they know that when you use their name that you've cared about them in a deep way that other people might not have. Um, another point that he brings up is how futile criticism is. Uh, I don't know if you've ever uh, been criticized but most people have and it usually doesn't leave you walking away with a, an encouraged feeling. You usually don't think, oh wow I'm blessed for having this. Criticism most always is a divisive uh, instrument. That, that only s tends to separate people and, and focuses on our differences rather than uh, being encouraging and telling them what they've done great and affirming those beliefs that, they, that you want into people so that they will continue to do that and as they continue to do that and you're affirming them in that, uh, the qualities that you don't like in them tend to shrink. Another thing that Dale Carnegie talks about is, is just a big smile. Uh, greeting people with enthusiasm, being excited to be around them, uh, almost seeming thankful to be in their life and the fact that I get to interact with another human being today and that, that just makes me so excited. Uh, this, this can make a world of difference in a job interview, in a class, in a friendship. Uh, practice this and you'll, just, you'll notice the results right away, I think. Uh, it makes you happier as well. Uh, another thing is how futile arguments are. Um, even if you win an argument with a friend or with a colleague or with a teacher uh, or an employer, um, you're really losing because even if you win the argument, you end up only separating that, that person from yourself. Uh, maybe you walk away victorious or maybe you were wrong all along. Either way, your friendship and your relationship is not going to be benefited um, because you took a stance that literally pitted yourself head to head with someone. You, you, you purposely viewed them as an enemy and so they had to view you as the same rather than walking alongside and trying to look at a problem and find constructive ways to solve it uh, that you can both benefit from. And a lot of times it's just the way you go about it and you can achieve the same results by avoiding those arguments. A really, the last and the very, one of the most essential points that Dale Carnegie talked about was to be interested in their life. This applies to everything. If you're interested in them, genuinely, not superficially, um, they're going to have interest in you. They're going to want to talk about themselves and open up to you. And you're going to learn a lot more about life and about them than you would have ever before. But also you're going to benefit yourself because all this new insight and wisdom and to be, to be honest, your relationship is going to be benefited because now I've, I've learned something about you and I can tell you something about me so that we know each other better than possibly a lot of their other employees or, or co-workers or friends know about them just because you took the time to ask. Because you said, you're important to me that I know about your life and I'm going to put you before myself. Uh, it's a lot of the golden rule, but it's something that few people practice. And I really encourage you to read all of Dale's book as it is just uh, so many pieces of wisdom in there that I think will bless you in your daily life. Um, hope you take me up on this vice. Uh, look it up. Dale Carnegie, uh, Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People.